Hello, it is I. And the most popular racing games out there are usually produced by some of the most famous franchises, such as Forza, Need for Speed, and Gran Turismo, just to name a few. And despite them making some truly amazing games, there are many more incredible racing games out there which you may never have played or even heard of. Well, that is why I made this video, as today we'll be going through 10 underrated racing games that you really need to try out. Now, before we get into this video, let's hit 4,000 likes if you want to be a legend and help out the channel. Anyways, without further ado, let us get into this video. Now on the 22nd of August 2002, exactly one day after I was born which is a bit of a coincidence, the people over at Capcom released Auto Modelista, which was essentially Gran Turismo mixed with Animal Crossing, with a dash of Initial D in the art style of Borderlands. Basically, uh, if you're a JDM fanboy, then you would love this game. As the car list consisted of JDM legends like the Honda NSX, Master RX-7, every single Nissan Skyline GTR, all the way to the legendary Tommy Kyra ZZS. The cars also had insane customization, which was not seen on many PlayStation 2 games back in 2002. In fact, some of the racer games of today don't even come close to this. Anyways, after buying a car, you could customize your garage, which is not seen in any racing game, I believe. The racing was interesting too, with most of the racing consisting of Togo battles on mountain roads. Basically, uh, it was just a very Japanese game. So if you love JDM cars and miss the arcade feel we used to see in racing games, then Auto Modelista is the perfect racing game for you. In 2012, the developers over at Codemasters released their brand new racing game called F1 Race Stars, which was essentially Mario Kart, but instead of Mario and them and there, you get to choose actual Formula 1 drivers from the 2012 season, the likes of Lewis Hamilton, Sebastian Vettel, Fernando Alonso, and even Michael Schumacher. So sorry Lando fans, you won't see him in the game seeing as he literally turned 13 when this game came out. Jesus Christ, he's a fetus! <laughs> Anyways, the game also came in this arcadey cartoon style, which I actually like quite a lot. Now, not only was the driver in Carlist impressive, but the gameplay was so much fun. Just like Mario Kart, you get power ups like bottle rockets, DRS, all the way to a ricochet bubble. All these power ups result in a fair race, as everybody has an equal chance of winning, just like Mario Kart. And it also had a dash of realism too, because if you bump your car too much, it'll get damaged, meaning you have to drive into the pits to repair your car, just like in real F1. Now, unfortunately, they only made one F1 Race Stars game, and ever since then, the franchise just vanished. But seeing as we are now in 2022, Codemasters could perhaps squeeze a sequel this year to celebrate its 10th anniversary and have the new regulation cast. How amazing would that be? And you know what? I'm going to DM them right now and get them to make one. And you guys are missing out if you have not played this game. Need for Speed, Mario Kart and Wreckfest had a baby, it would be Blur. Now I've never actually played Blur myself but I've heard really good things about the game. Just like F1 Race Stars, Blur is very similar to Mario Kart with its power ups, like Nitro, Shock and Shunt. Except in Blur you can drive real life licensed cars, from ordinary cars like the Audi S3, all the way to full on hyper cars like the Koenigsegg CCXR. And with this being an arcade racer, there is no sight of a real life racetrack. All of the racetracks are fictional but set in real cities. For example, there's one in Barcelona, Tokyo, Los Angeles, Route 66, which I know is a road, but you know, like, it's, it's part of America. The Hollywood Hills, Brighton, and even Hackney, you know. So if you want to try out an arcade racing game where you can wreck other cars, get power-ups, and fight your way to victory, then Blur is the perfect game for you. Driver is a video game franchise which you've probably completely forgotten about. It was huge in the old PlayStation days, but as of recently, nobody ever talks about it. Which I just don't understand as Driver San Francisco was probably one of the greatest racing games ever made in my opinion. I mean, the game had a super interesting storyline and a really cool feature where you could go inside random strangers' bodies and drive their cars, which was very unique and never seen in any other racing game. And my favourite thing about Driver San Francisco has to be its physics, because they were absolutely perfect. I don't use that word lightly, yeah, they were perfect. I mean, it wasn't exactly realistic, but it had the perfect arcade driving model, as the cars had new suspension and slippery tyres, which resulted in long drifts, making driving so much fun. And the damage model was incredible as well. The cars get torn apart, body panels fly off, everything was just perfect. I mean, I played this game recently on my PS3, and I honestly couldn't tell that it was over a decade old. And the online in the game was incredible whilst it lasted. So if you're looking for a driving game which is completely different to any other game you've played, Driver San Francisco. Go, yeah? Try it, yeah, and I promise you that you'd love it. Okay, now I know what you lot are all thinking. The crew! 
underrated. Everybody's heard of The Crew, and yes, it is a very popular video game, but it doesn't get the credit that it deserves as for a game that came out nearly a whole decade ago, it's way ahead of its time and bodies other racing game franchises. For starters, the map is huge. It's a slightly scaled down map of the USA, where you can literally visit every major city as well as some smaller ones as well. There are landmarks for you to explore, beautiful roads for you to drive on, and even real life racetracks scattered across the whole map. Another thing the crew did really well was its story, which you rarely ever see in most racing games nowadays. Not only that, but the story was paired with incredible cutscenes which really made you feel like you're watching a movie. The customization was also very good as the body kits were insane, you can turn ordinary cars into raid spec buggies, and you could even change up the interior of your car as well. In fact, my only complaints I have about the crew are the physics, because the cars feel terrible to drive, the gravity effect is really weird, and the drifting doesn't feel engaging at all. But other than that, I think it's an incredible game which you definitely need to try out if you have not done so already. December of 2006, Psygno Psygnosis? Psygnosis? These people, yeah, they released Formula 1 Championship Edition. And despite this game being so old, it was actually very well executed, way ahead of its time. I mean, the sense of speed was incredible, with such a wild field of view, the rain effects were so realistic, much better than some games of today, and the sounds were phenomenal, as this was, of course, the 2006 season with the V8 cars. Now, not only was this way ahead of its time, but the game also included features which you don't see in today's Formula 1 games, such as female characters in career mode. Yep, you could play as a female driver in this 2006 game. I mean, I thought in this day and age where equality has a big focus, there'd be more diversity in terms of gender of today's Formula 1 games, but there isn't. Yet it's seen in this game from 16 years ago, which is so impressive to see. On top of that, this game even had in-game commentary by James Allen and Martin Brundle. Alonso gets off to a great start. It's a shaky start for Villeneuve. The field is tightly packed as they head towards the first corner. How Amazing is that? I mean, sorry, it did sound awkward a lot of the time, but it was such an amazing feature which needs to return. So, if you're a fan of Formula One games and have never touched any of the older games, then I highly recommend Championship Edition as you'd struggle to believe that it's a game from 2006. It's genuinely so good. Alright, now I know Dirt 5 came out a couple years ago and it had many cool and exciting features, but Dirt 3 is just different gravy despite it being a decade old. As when this game came out, the Dirt Rally franchise didn't even exist, so the developers crammed every single rally feature into Dirt 3 and it was great. There was even a career mode with amazing progression, but there was also a very heavy emphasis on Gymkhana, which was so fun to try out, as the missions were so engaging, you learned something new every time, and you can even drive upside down which is so amazing to see. Also, Dirt games are renowned for their incredible sounds and Dirt 3 is no exception. The sounds are out of this world. On top of great sounds, this game also had a great soundtrack, with one of my favourite ever songs being featured in this game, Blind Faith by Chase and Status. So if you want to try out a game with great music, great sounds and amazing missions, try out Dirt 3 as it's absolutely amazing. Now, Pixel Car Racer is a drag racing game which may not appeal to most people seeing as they tend to not be so fun, but the competitiveness of Pixel Racer is unreal. You need to have super quick reactions to shift the car perfectly, know when to use the nitrous, it's all a very tactical game which you don't expect to see on a mobile racing game. The customization is unreal as well, as they have so many body kits, wheels, spoilers, engine swaps, huge turbos, tyres, custom liveries, all the way to bumper deletes. And the pixel art style is a very nice touch as well, so if you're looking for a very enjoyable mobile racing game which you don't have to pay a lot of money for, then I highly suggest trying trying out Pixel Car Racer, though if you're a graphics snob then you may not like this game too much. Do you want to live out your Fast and Furious fantasies in a video game? Do you want to start off in a terrible car and ruin it with cringy modifications? Do you want to play Need for Speed but you don't want to play Need for Speed? If so, then Juiced is the game for you. Juiced. When you want to play Need for Speed but you don't want to play Need for Speed. <coughs> Anyways, back to the face cam. Oh, hello there, I see you made it to the end of the video. Well, seeing as you got this far, you probably enjoyed this video. If so, then make sure to subscribe, only if you feel like it. But we are on the road to 250k, so if you want to be a legend and help out, then be my guest. Thank you very much, and I'll catch up with you guys very soon. Until next time, have a good one, guys. Stay safe, stay inside. Until next time, cheers. My dinero's what I'm out to get. Sombrero, I get hat and then I'm out again. Got an A1 Chico with a drive like a free liter. That's what she needs. D4 like the outside.